everyone <laughs> and welcome back to part two of the birthday snail mail episodes I just had to check in on a certain someone and it was getting a little long so I'm gonna just dive right back in we have a gigantic pile of awesomeness and I had some super touching letters I'm still kind of like teared up from some of them that we've had so far and it's just been amazing so I'm gonna go a little bit quick to try to get through the rest of the stack and everything else because there is a birthday to celebrate today but really I love celebrating it with you guys so all right make sure you check part one for the sappy long talk about how much I love all of you and I would dive back into that again but okay gotta keep moving gotta keep moving Siri all right so here we go all right so another letter and this one from Desiree from I think oh I'm I'm blanking on my abbreviations for the states again but I'm pretty sure not Nebraska yeah I'm pretty sure that's Nebraska actually all right so let's see what we have here we've got some little letters look at this you guys all right we've got some letters and i think we've got some art oh it's slimes oh my gosh golden slime tabby slime pink slime boom slime oh look at this oh i'm a slime rancher to you guys we've had so many requests to bring a slime rancher back and as soon as they update to 3.0 you can bet your boots that i will definitely be diving back into slime rancher that is so cute look at the little golden slime if only I could ever catch him. I've still not managed to get a single golden pour. I know you can't actually catch the golden slime, but still, that's so cute. Some, so Desiree, does, Desiree, Desiree, oh, here we go. Can read on camera. All right. <laughs> P.S. I kind of know your real name. I think it's blank. I have no idea. And you are totally right. You, you know my real name then. I just like to tease you guys with not saying it outright because it's kind of fun. All right. Dear Siri, I have been watching you since the very first episode of Zoo Crafting or Zudesia, whatever the official name is. You really Grew my love for animals and now I have six guinea pigs. Oh my gosh, I did a lot of growing your love if you've got that many. I'm so envious. If I could get another pet, it would be a guinea pig. Hands down, I want a guinea pig. And the guinea pigs are Elsa, Cuddles, Trixie, Homer, Princess Leia, and Princess Bella. I also have two cats, Romeo, Dora, and a dog named Shadow. That is amazing. That sounds like my household growing up. And I love Sims and Horse Haven. I have been I have Horse Haven myself and I'm level 25. I drew some pictures for you. The one of Ray I drew about two months ago and the others I drew today. I'm addicted to collecting wolf items and I want to be a vet. My favorite series is Warrior Cats because I've read every book and love cats. P.S. I'm 11. Your subscriber, Desiree. Desiree, thank you so much. Also, thank you for putting how to pronounce your name at the bottom because I am so bad with names. It's so embarrassing. I'm just really bad with names. So that makes me feel so much better that I managed to pronounce your name right. And that is awesome. I grew up with tons of animals like that too. And I think it had a huge influence on just everything I do now and my passion for them today. So I'm really happy to hear about that. I'm really envious you have so many guinea pigs. All right, and I love the boom slime. I love the golden slime. I love the tabby slime. Wow, and look at this one of rain. That is so pretty. Rain was definitely one of my favorite of our Wolf Quest wolves, and I really do want to continue the story with her daughter, Misty. Misty has already had quite an interesting adventure, and it's only going to get even more interesting as time goes on. So we'll have to see how Wolf Quest turns out as the generations go by. Oh, and it's a little moss leaf! So here's moss leaf, looking absolutely adorable. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to see where Moss Leaf's story goes. I can't believe she's already had kittens. Oh, it's going to be so much fun to see how she works as a spirit cat too. So that's going to be great. And I'm so excited, Desiree, that you enjoy that series as well. And Wolf Quest and Horse Haven. Oh, it's <gasps> giraffe! We were just talking about this in the previous episode. I love giraffes. I don't know why. It just It's a new thing, and it's a beautiful thing, and it's a wonderful sweet spot in my heart. So we have another giraffe picture. I feel like I need to go through and like organize all my giraffe pictures together and all my yarny hidden yarny pictures together that would be so fun oh thank you another giraffe that is so much fun all right let's see what else we've got right here her last picture oh and it's a cute puppy oh my gosh that's adorable i would love to figure out if we could do some sort of series in sims 3 kind of like what we're doing right now that could use um dogs instead like a stray dog pack challenge so look out for that in the future all right, so thank you so much, Desiree. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I am so excited to hear we have another person among our community. I know there's many of you who are hoping to be a vet one day. And remember, even if you don't take the path, path, even if you don't take the path of being a veterinarian, there is so much you can do in the world that has to do with animals. Also, please ignore my very, very happy chips in the background if you happen to hear him yelling. He's having a great time playing League of Legends right now. 
All right, and then we've got, oh, great, hashtag green rocks, hashtag never too many plants from Anna in Georgia. So this is so cool. I love it. It's the green envelope. You can tell because it's like the only green one. And so I saw it and I was like, it's green. And when I picked it up, it says hashtag green rocks. And I was like, yeah, that's so cool. All right, so I'm going to carefully open this one up real quick. And let's see, oh, read on camera, hashtag so much to do in the zoo. That is totally true. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. Did I get everything? Good. All right, so let's go ahead and open this up and see. And I love your vids. Not sure about fan art this time, but for sure next time. <laughs> and there's a puppy drawing on it. Dear Siri, heyo, I watched your episode and almost cried when you left Holly. I was so close to tears. I think that the Squirrel Rehab sh Center should be called the Little Pinecone Rehab Center. You need to watch a show called Free Willy. I have I've seen Free Willy, actually. I think it came out when I was a kid. Um, and they did a whole bunch of, like, sequels, I think. But I remember Free Willy. That was a long time ago, too. I need. I don't remember anything about it other than that there was the orca. And we freed the orca. And that's, like, as far as my, my memory of it goes. And let's see. My little four-year-old sister has to go to the Scottish Rite Children's Hospital. She has encephalitis. I spelled it really wrong, I know. Don't worry. I, I know what you're talking about. Don't worry. It is an inflammation of the brain. She is home now, but we are going to the doctor so they can look at her. And she loves your videos. She is always watching them. Oh, well, say hello to your little... Hi. Hi. So, hi, Anna's little sister. I hope that you're feeling better. That's really... Oh, it's so hard to have to go to the hospital. Uh, do 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 and then, yep, and in the video description of your snail mail, can you put how much an NPC, tree, etc. are? And actually, yes, there is a link that will actually take you to a page that will explain everything in depth. It actually won't all fit in my video description, so make sure you check the the, the um, video description of the snail mail videos, and you'll be able to find a link that you can go to that will explain everything for that. Um, let's see, but where does the money go to? And it goes to actually paying to keep the server going because the server costs me quite a bit every month to, to maintain so that we can keep all the zoo crafters in the zoo and on the server because it's huge, it's gigantic, it takes up big file sizes. And otherwise it goes to things, he's having a really good time. Otherwise it goes to things like helping me pay for the PO box or um, helping me to pay for postage or, or a new hardware or software for the channel. So basically just kind of maintaining things. And that's why it's totally optional. And it's just, if you guys ever like, it's like tip jar. Like if you, you were walking by somebody playing violin on the street, like my friend used to do, she used to just go out to the like corner of the street and just play her violin and she would just get tips. And it's kind of just like that. So, but don't worry. Cause I can totally manage everything. We are finally to a successful place where it's just completely, it's just completely like icing on the cake. So don't worry if not. And then let's see. And yes, and uh, the way that we do it when you can become an NPC if it's not through donations is we do have random raffles in the future. But it has to be through YouTube comments. Otherwise, I and you can make a free YouTube account. Otherwise, I can't keep track of everything very easily. But keep an eye out for that in the future. One day, if I ever manage to catch up with all the NPCs, we will be doing more of those things in the future. And then let's see. All right. Have a great day. And you too. And when is your birthday? I need to send you a card. It's today, Anna. <laughs> so hi, Anna. And yes, it is today at Green Rock. So thank you so much for your questions. I hope you're having a wonderful day. All right, and let's see what's here from Noah. And I think that's Kentucky, Connecticut. No, it's Connecticut. No, wait, no. Yeah. Wait, yeah. <laughs> I need to work on my state abbreviations. It's fun to try to guess. All right, so from Noah. Oh, it's a Pokemon card. Oh my gosh, look at this guy. Look at him. Look at this shiny guy. That is so cool. What do we have here? I'm gonna have to add him to my Pokemon card collection. I think that some people are trying to get me back into doing Pixelmon, everybody. All right. Dear Siri, I love your Warrior Cat series. I've read the first three books so far. I also love Wolf Quest because wolves are my favorite species of animal. I also want you to go back to Pixelmon. P.S. I'm giving you a Pokemon card from Noah. Thank you so much, Noah. And yes, you guys are luring me back into Pixelmon. My plate is so overflowingly full of projects. I don't know when it would happen, but I'm beginning to finally think that I would enjoy it again, especially with Pokemon Go hopefully coming out in the near future. I would really love to go on walks, collect Pokemon, trade Pokemon with you guys from doing the Pokemon Go events. So we're going to have to see how that works out. All right, and Noah has sent in some awesome art. So here we have an adorable bird. And then over here we've got, ooh, I think a wolf. So over here we've got a really cool wolf. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Noah. I hope you're having a wonderful day and I hope you are enjoying the Wolf Quest series. It is still going. And I really, <laughs> this is really cool. Isn't this so cool? 
I know it's gonna be very embarrassing, but I don't even know which Pokemon this is yet because like I only paid attention to the first three generations. And this makes me really curious to see what they've done because it's kind of like a fun biology experiment to learn more about Pokemon. All right, and then this one is actually from Royal Mail, Royal Elmer, from John. Permission to open, read, and show on camera. Thank you so much, John. All right, so let's see what we have in here. This is fun. It's so fun when it says Royal Mail. I know you guys who, like, that's your everyday life. You're like, yeah, Siri, it's not that big a deal, but it's really cool when you live over here and see Royal Mail. Wow. Oh, this is so pretty. Oh, my gosh. Nice handwriting. Oh, my goodness. What's this? Oh, my goodness. All right. All right. Dear Siri, I am a massive fan of your work with Zoo Tycoon 2 and Sims 4. And then it's got this really amazing, like, family tree with all of the dogs, and it has his address, so I'm not gonna show you guys. Um, have you heard of the TV show Thundermans? If so, could you start a Sims 4 series with them? I've never heard of them, but I will look them up. Now I'm curious. In, in Sims 4, Devin would really suit a longish hair with a fringe. Also in Sims 4, maybe introduce like a sister to Devin, something called, um, <laughs> called something posh like Chardonnay. Could you please revisit Savannah Safari Zone in Zoo Tycoon 2? I love it, and I totally can do both of those things in the future. I never thought about giving Devin a sister. She really could do with the sister who's not like Holly, because Holly's kind of shy. So I love seeing you guys' ideas for the series, too. It's so fun to see how you engage with the different stories. All right. Could you also go back to the Asian Forest Zoo and work with the camels? I can totally try to pull that off. It would be fun just to, like, kind of quick visit a few of the Zoo Tycoon places. It's been a while since we've been able to do Zoo Tycoon 2 episode. It's just... We're overflowing with things to do, but I promise you I haven't abandoned it. I know I never do. It's one of the first things we did on the channel. Sometimes I'll just take a break and then I'll come back to it pretty heavily. So don't worry, I'll be back. All right. And then, um, do you have an animal names collection for Zoo Tycoon 2? And I used to. I think I have it on my laptop. It's not on my new computer. But I actually keep Word files, um, Notepad++ files, that have literally hundreds of names. It's over 400, maybe 550 since some of the emails I got this morning. Uh, Warrior Cat's names. And I'm just going to, like, put it in a random generator, like, 1 to 500, and randomly pick the names in the future and see if they fit the cat. So, yeah, I do have a list of names, but I'm always open to adding more because I just will continue to add them to the list and then use the random generator to help me pick sometimes. And then for Devin and Pine's next child, if it's a boy, how about TJ for Tate Jr. or Corey or for a girl, Frankie or Hermione? Those are all very good names. I'm very excited. Oh, look at this. Look at this. It's Zoe, Tate, Iris, Fern, Devin, Pine. Oh, I am so excited to see such a big Sims fan. It is not too often we have somebody who's this into our Sims series, so it really warms my heart because Sims is so near and dear to me. P.S. When Tate, Lily, Iris, and Zoe die at the end of the episode, could you do a sad tune? Uh, example, Julia's theme from East, uh, EastEnders. Also, bring Iris's cookie club back. Her cookie club was so fun. And then make over the house slash Devin style. And giraffes! There's a little giraffe! This is our second giraffe of the day! That, or third, third giraffe? Maybe second? I'm gonna have to think. Is this the second or third giraffe of the day? Oh my gosh, we had a lot of giraffes. This is cool. Uh, also, makeovers for like Fur and Amber and give Devin, Devin a more motherly look. I would if it fit her. It doesn't really fit Devin. She's a little bit too um, too snobby for that. All right, and then we have Alia Hannah Green. Oh, this is really cute. Lily Green. Oh, it's like family trees for all of our Sims, you guys. Look at that. That is so cool. This is like one of the most unique things I've ever gotten. And we've got one for Tate right here. So here's Tate, and then there's Pine, his firstborn son. Wow, this is even drawn with like the outfits. Little baby Amber. <laughs> Look at this. Holly and Ash. Oh, it's family trees all over the place. This is really making me want to sit down with Sims 4. I don't even know what I'm going to pick for my like free time for my birthday to play. And then here's Iris. And there's a cow plant. Mummy is Iris. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. And then here's the family tree, Sims 4 Forever. I, thank you. I needed this. All right, Sims 4 is one of our least popular series, but it is so close to my heart. So to know that there's other people who are this into it really, really, really helps me want to bring the big dreams I have for it to come true. And I have such big things I want to do for it. Oh, but you guys, you're familiar with that refrain by now. There's always so much I want to do, and there's just so many big stories and projects to share with all of you. All right, so let's go ahead and keep moving. We are on Carolina from North Carolina. Oh, we just had Carolina last time. I remember that. 
Because you live very close, Carolina. I think you live like 20 minutes away. Like... I'm pretty sure Darling was like, yeah, that's, that's, that place is only like 20 minutes away from us. And I was like, really? So that was really cool. And it's more fan art from your state named nearby loving fan. P.S. Don't mind if read. Woo! And then, <laughs> Moss Sleep. I'm expecting kids. Me. Flips out of mostly my chair. The ship Lion Leap has sailed. That is so cute and creative, Carolina. I love it. And then we've got Rain watching over her daughter Misty in Wolf Quest. Oh, that is so sweet. The ancestors are keeping an eye on our Wolf Quest wolves. And then here is Lion. Lion Star and Moss Leaf. And Carolina, I hope you are happy with their kits. It is very odd that they ended up having as much green as they did, but we'll just have to see how that plays out in the future. Oh, Carolina, thank you so much. I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's a little cloudy and overcast today, but I hope you're enjoying it too. Because you are like right down the street from me practically, which is really surreal, isn't it? All right, and then we've just got a few left. So this one is another Royal Mail. And this one, let's see from Goda. Interesting. All right, I'm going to have to gently open this. I don't want to tear the address just in case. So I'm really excited. I know it seems silly. It's Royal Mail though. That's so cool. What is in here? This is really thick. Like there's a lot of stuff in here. All right, what is this? What do we have here, you guys? Ooh, ooh, there's a lot of stuff. Oh my gosh, there's a little bunny girl. This is a bunny thing called Bunny Girl I just drew. Uh, I want you to have it. Oh, thank you so much. Look at this. Oh, what a cute little bunny girl. It gives me some ideas. I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, Easter episode we had today, too. Because that, that is so cute. That makes me think about the Easter Bunny episode that we just did in Zoo Crafting today. That is so fun. And I don't mind if you read this. Dear Siri, I am really excited to be able to be writing to you. I love you and your channel. You are the best. I really enjoy watching you after school and even in the morning. What is your favorite color? Green, for sure. And then, oh, do you like cats? I love cats. Polka Dot uh, is a cat I lived with for a long time. Friday was my rescue Maine Coon who was, like, I think I haven't gotten another cat since Friday because he was, like, my baby. And then when he died because he had feline leukemia, he was born with it because he was born to a stray mother who had it. And when he passed away, because it just got to the point where his liver couldn't handle it anymore, I just, I don't think I can get into a new cat just yet. But one day, Darling and I will have an adorable kitten that Darling wants to name Xiao Meow Meow to be General Meow Meow. So we'll have to see if we find Xiao Meow Meow in the future. That would be adorable. All right, now let me tell you uh, a little about myself. So my name is Goda. I'm 12 years old and I live in England, London. However, I came from Louisiana, or Luth Luthiana. I'm, I'm, I apologize if I pronounced that incorrectly. Luthiana. Uh, Luthiana is a small country in the middle of three countries. Below Poland, Lativia, Belarius. I have a kitten and I'm going to get a dog. That is really cool. Let's see. What's your favorite dog breed? Great Danes. <laughs> Great Danes. Golden Retrievers. Um... Let's see, Great Danes, because our family always has Great Danes, and I just really like their personality. Golden Retrievers, but I'm really, like, mm, a lot of mutts that I run into, I like a lot, uh, but definitely Great Danes. This is the first thing that comes to mind. What, what kind of dog are you getting, Goda? Yes, my parrot died two weeks ago, and I'm really sad. I miss her. I'm so sorry to hear that. That is so hard to lose a pet. Oh, my goodness. But I don't want you to be sad. Here's some pictures of Luthiana. Oh, my gosh, this is so cool. I think Luthiana is so lovely, right? Would you like to read a book? Um, would you like to go or read a book about these places? I totally love to travel. I've never traveled abroad, but look how pretty this is, you guys. This is so exciting. I know it's a little embarrassing, but this is the first time I'm really learning. I think I've heard the name, but it's the first time to have the opportunity to learn about a new country. So that's always so exciting. Oh my gosh, thank you for introducing it to me. I don't like living in London, but I'm lucky because I'm living in Woodford, and it has a lot more nature than the rest of London does. Although the rest of England has a lot more nature. And here are some pictures of the zone of London. The eye of London, the heart of London. <laughs> I don't mind if you read it out. Oh, look at this. This is so cool. This is really one of the first pictures, like one of the first letters that's kind of made me go, whoa, wait a second. This person's like, this is their life. This is their life in another country. That is really amazing. That's a surreal feeling. Oh my gosh, I can't wait till you write, um, I can't wait to write you again. I hope you enjoyed it. Love, Goda. Have a nice day. P.S. I'm going to write to you soon. Oh, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Look at all of this awesome artwork, all of these doodles and pictures. Oh, that's so fun. There's even a smiley face stamp. That is so cool. Oh, what do we have here? All right, so we've got... <gasps> It's 101 Dalmatian Challenge! It's our first, our very first 101 
Creations Challenge fan art. And here we have Meredith, and there's Terry and Tisha, and here we have Roger and Anita, and over here we've got Rolly. Rolly is a big fan favorite. This is so exciting. It's our first fan art of 101 Dalmatians. And then we have Mossleaf from the Warrior Cat Sims 3 series. Look at the pointillism on those bushes. That is gorgeous. Look at all that color. Oh, Goda, this is fantastic. Oh my gosh. The two packs meet in Wolf Quest. Oh my gosh, Lunala, what are you doing here? Meet Glenn. Hi, everyone. Brother, what are you doing here? Hey, Misty, what's up, brother? Meet Lunala. Hi, Misty, how are you doing? I'm Glenn. Oh, that is so cool, because we decided that our two wolf packs are actually the brothers that became mates to the leaders of our two current wolf packs, uh, and we decided that they're brothers, even though we didn't play them. So that was really cool. What a fun meeting. I bet they wouldn't be too aggressive with each other as a result. Oh my gosh. So thank you so much, Goda. So that's the end of your letters, and I just... <laughs> that's really cool. I know it sounds silly, but it's one of those moments where I'm just like, wait a second, this person lives in another country. This is their life. This is amazing. So thank you so much for sharing that with me and for renewing my hope and dream of being able to travel in the future. So, oh, that's so fun. All right, I'm going to gently put it over here. Very cute bunny girl, by the way. And then we're going to wrap up with these packages right over here. So I'm going to move them gently into my lap. And we have this one from Australia to Siri. I would love it if you could read this on your video, please. A house is not a home without plants. So I kind of showed this off last episode. I thought that was amazing. A house is not a home without plants is so true for me. And it's, there's a drawing of uh, flowers and my name here. I'll cover up the address. Look at that. I think that's Lion Star on the bottom. And my name. This is so colorful. This is so exciting. All right. I'm going to... Okay. Good. I had to... Make sure I open it up very carefully. And this is from Charlotte, and this is from Australia. So we're getting a lot of international like letters today. This is so exciting. All right, I'm gonna carefully, carefully, carefully. There we go. I always, I'm nervous to get the scissors because I never want to like cut something that might be inside. There, and we're gonna gently open this envelope and it's like so exciting. Okay, let's see what's hiding in here. And we've got, Oh my gosh, look how pretty. <laughs> look at this. So two series, so much to do in the zoo. Look at this, the color. Oh, Charlotte, this is so exciting. This is really gorgeous color. All right, two series. Hi, I'm Charlotte, aka Rara. I live in Australia, north southwest, I think, uh, does that mean, mean north southwest? Uh, NSW to be exact, in a small town called Sanctuary Point. I'm 11 years old and I love your videos. I have a question for you. How do I get an NPC? Do I have to donate? If not, can I have one? And then um, the NPCs, look in the video description of all of our snail mail videos and you'll find out how that works. But don't worry, you don't have to donate. Just in the future, we'll do some random raffles that will give you guys the opportunity to earn an NPC spot. So we are trying to make it as fair as possible for as many people. Don't worry. It's just like a tip jar, so don't stress about it. All right. I, um, doo -doo -doo. I have a dog who is 17 years old named Tom. He is a Maltese, and that is really adorable. I also have a name for some of your warrior cats. Fireleaf, Mossdew, Firepaw, and Honey Ear. Those are really cute names. I love those. Also, I have Wolf Quest names, Red, Jupiter, Valley, Dust, and Sand Dunes. I hope that you like all the names, and I hope that I can get an NPC. I hope you like my notes. Your friend, Rara. <laughs> You're my friend, so you can call me that. And then there's something on the back. Oh, and then there's artwork for her little sister. That's so cute. So we've had a lot of correspondence with little sisters of people today, too. That's so sweet. And oh my gosh, you guys, it's the Carrotfish 2.0. This is more carrot fish. You guys are so cool. I love how much you love the carrot fish. Oh my goodness. This is beautiful, Rara. Thank you so much for your art and your excitement. Like I said, check the video description and you can find all the information that you guys want about the NPCs and the trees. And I'm just, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to see this. This is so cool. <laughs> I love it. Oh my gosh. And Rara, you did a beautiful job on, on this envelope too. So thank you so much from Rara in Australia. That is very exciting to have more amazing correspondence with some of you amazing Australians that we have down there. And then we've got a couple more packages. So this one is from New Hampshire. And I'm not sure if that's the person's name, so I won't read it out. Read or open on camera. And apparently, oh, there's a little Easter egg. There's a little Easter egg hidden up here. Isn't that cute? What a clever idea. And did you guys see the tape? The tape, the tape is actually white tigers. That's amazing. I didn't even know they made white tiger tape. That is so cool. All right, let's see what's hiding inside. There's a few things. 
What do we have here? Whoa! Oh my gosh! <laughs> this is so much stuff. It's actually wrapped stuff. I actually haven't unwrapped a present today. So this is amazing. <laughs> oh my goodness. And there's a little Nemo. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, this is so cute. Oh my gosh. Nemo, you're going to have to hang out. The, um, the chameleon somebody sent me is around here too. Nemo, you hang out over here, my friend. And I'm going to read the letters like a good person. You should read the card before you open the present. We have otter slip. We have a lot of stuff here. I'm going to put the presents right here so they don't slip off my lap. I'm very curious. I'm very excited. I still have this package in my lap too. And let's see if we can find the letter. So here we have branch star. And we have Otter Slip, our cats, which are really cool. I hope you guys like what happened in the Branch Clan today. It's getting pretty darn interesting in there. And then we have Honey Wish licking some honey, which is absolutely adorable. Honey Wish is obsessed with her honey, and she hasn't had some for a long time, but I may have some plans for that. So you guys just hang in there. Then we have Otter Slip. And then we have Dawn Step. And you can see Branch Star always keeping an eye on his wonderful mate Dawn Step because he loves her so much. And here we go. I knew there had to be a letter in here somewhere. You can read this. Dear Siri, hello again. This is the second thing I sent you, and I promise my drawings are better. You are still my favorite YouTuber, and you always make me smile. Yay! I put my state on the return address. I can now have three I now have three favorite series, which are Slime Rancher, Zoo Crafting, and the Warrior Cats Challenge. Anyway, thank you for brightening up my day. Sincerely, Audrey, age eleven. My YouTube name is Panorama Pandorama. Oh my gosh, or Pando. Pandorio. Oh, I get it now. <laughs> That's a cute name. Oh my gosh, no wonder you were asking if we were going to do a snail mail. This is so exciting. All right, P.S. Yes, that was a carrot fish. Oh, I got it now. That's amazing. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> she sent the carrot fish. <laughs> Now I get it. Okay, here we go. She's in the carabish, which as you can see, I keep right up here with my Pokemon cards, actually. I'll have to do the desk vlog tour that I told you guys I would do. And then P.S. is blank, your real name. Yes, it is. <laughs> so there we go. And then I send you a little inchworm and two animal figures. I also send you an inchworm. Ooh, so we're going to have to see what we can find. All right, so let's look here. And then we've also got Branch Star. And Dawn Step and Branch start with their paws next to each other. I will have to see if they ever have more kittens in the future or how they raise their first two kits. It'll be really exciting. Branch Star, he's my favorite, but I love how his coat is so mysterious or so simple and yet he's mysterious. And then we have Willow back here. Oh my goodness. The plant sim who is the spirit of the forest for our cats. And then right here we have Stardew Valley fan art! Yay! I'm so happy you guys are enjoying Stardew Valley. I'm still learning about it, but I'm really happy. Oh my gosh. I'm so glad you guys are having fun with it. All right, and then we have carrot buns. Being attacked by the, the, the fishing bun is being attacked by the carrot buns. That is so cute. <laughs> that is so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness, that's adorable. Look at that happy bunny. Look at that. And they are fishing for their carrot buns, which does happen. And then we've got, let's see, the sky slime. And the males look kind of like clouds, and the females look kind of like thunder clouds, I think. That is really cool. Or stars, like the open sky. Oh, that's beautiful. What a creative idea. And then we have the hunter slime. Only come out at night, deadly. Favorite meal, pink slimes. Port sell for $100. That is really cool. I love seeing your original slime ideas. I cannot wait for more slimes to be added into the game. I will, I want to be able to add my own slimes into like zoo crafting somehow. If I had to make a slime mod, I totally will. All right, and then let's see. Ooh, we've got Lion Star. Look at all of this art. This is amazing. Saga Spiridon from our, our um, Star Stable series. Oh my gosh, and Rose stole my new horse. It's just like turning over more and more amazing art and constantly seeing our adventures just come to life. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm going to do the crying thing again. I just know it. Because it's my birthday. And it's, oh my gosh. Yeah. I'm going to have to show that to Darling. Just as I said, I was going to do the crying thing. <laughs> Okay, okay, deep breaths there, you're almost there. Oh my goodness, and then there's Moss Sleep. I'm gonna, this one, I've got to show this to Darling. Because honestly, you guys, this right here, my best friend, being with him, that's all I really wanted for my birthday. And just to share all of this with you guys and to share my joy and my love of him with you guys, it's just icing on the cake. It's amazing. 
It's amazing. Oh, okay, hang in there, Siri. See, I'm getting all excited and emotional again. Then we've got Holly with the Cloud Phoenix in wolf form, which gives me some brilliant ideas. Oh my gosh, does that give me some ideas? That is the creativity that just just pours off of you guys is amazing. I love it. And then Sagefoot, the OC meeting moss leaf. There we go. That is really cool. And then we have Pongo and Perdita. Oh my gosh, more 101 donations. I'm so glad to see that series is getting popular, which is kind of ironic because we're like 60 episodes in, but that's okay. I'm glad you guys are having a good time. Then we have Hair Belly and Red, and Red is actually the Red Fox. Um, so no matter how hard you try, you can't break my ship. Hair Red! <laughs> So Hair Belly is kind of an interesting cat because he has a crush on a fox. And I don't know what I'm going to do about that. But if you guys have ideas, let me know. And then we've got Agent Noodles right here looking absolutely fantastic. Oh my goodness. And then <gasps> the Wild Times Wetlands. Thought you could read this. Wetlands Water Worlds. This is so cool. And there's all sorts of like wetlands facts in here. Dragons and damsels, dam, damsels, dam, damsels, there we go. Wetlands at works. Look at this bog. We need to build a bog. I'm going to refer to this when we start building a wetlands bog in our zoo crafting world because that is something I want to be doing very soon. Oh my gosh, you guys. Whew. Yeah, this is going to be amazing. Oh my gosh, so thank you so much. I cannot believe just the outpouring of stuff that you send every time and your art is so wonderful and there's just so much... There's just so much. Let's gently bring it all back over here. I don't want to tangle it up with Rara's stuff. All right, and let's see. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. No, I think I've got everything, Audrey. Okay, so we're going to open Audrey's presents now because she's probably been just jumping. Oh, wait a second. We're going to open Audrey's presents now. Wait a second. <laughs> What's down here? What are these? Oh my gosh, there's more figures. <laughs> All right, so what do we have here? We have got a seal and we have got what looks to be an antelope, but that is so cool. All right, I'm going to have to add those to the other figures. They're going to go up. I have a whole little collection that's getting started up here that you guys will have to see. And let's go ahead and open up the presents that she has sent in this time, which are really, really fun. All right. Just to know you guys are so into the natural world and so excited. It's green tissue paper. That is so cool. Oh my gosh, look how cute it is. Look at the little wolf. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, we didn't think about Wolf Quest forever. And look at the way its eyes are all sparkly and blue. <laughs> and then my phone died again. I'm sorry, guys. We were definitely having a great time. I promise we'll be more careful in the future. But yes, okay. So right where we were at, which is so ironic, which is like the present opening part. The whole thing's been like an hour and a half of present opening, though. It's been amazing. We have the adorable little wolf cub right here, which is so cute. I love how its eyes will remind me the way that we always talk about, like the stars watching over the wolf moon, like the moon pack or the stormy skies pack. And we've just built up so much lore and story around the series and I absolutely love it so thank you so much it's so cute I'm gonna put him up like put him up and think about wolf quest every time I look at him and then right over oh my gosh is this what I think it is tweaks tweaks oh my goodness it looks like is this is this oh tell me tell me are you a giraffe I think you're a giraffe is this a giraffe it looks like a giraffe to me <laughs> this is tweaks is this really a giraffe you guys I love you this is so fun. I don't know why I'm in love with giraffes, but this makes me so happy. I'm going to put it right down here where I can watch it and think about how cute giraffes are. This is just adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, thank you so much, sweetie. Oh my goodness. All right. And let's go ahead and open up the last of the... Let's see, I'm just double checking, making sure. I want to make sure I haven't misplaced anything. Yep, I'm pretty sure I've got all of it. Here's the wetlands pieces. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, here's the stardew pieces. Yep, 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 yep. I'm pretty sure that's everything from Audrey except this. So, all right. Let's go ahead and I'm going to carefully open this up. It's actually wrapped in, like, happy birthday wrapping paper. This is so cool. All right, and then what do we have? <gasps> no way! Oh, my gosh! Okay, you guys aren't going to understand why I'm so emotional about this inchworm. So I hope for the sake of it being my birthday, you will let me tell you a little story. 
But both of my baby brothers, um, I guess they're, well, my other baby brother just turned 21. My youngest brother just turned 21. Uh, we're almost like all March and October birthdays. So he just turned 21 a couple days ago on the 24th. And um, then I have another younger brother who's like the middle child and he is 23 now. But when they were itty bitty, they both had like learning delays. And now they're both caught up and doing amazing in college and their work. But it was really hard because back then people didn't really know what to do about it. And my mom worked so hard to do everything she could to help them learn how to speak on time. And they're like, I don't think one of my brothers spoke until he was almost four or five years old. But she worked around the clock, like sat down with them, read them stories. And I just remember my baby brother's favorite story growing up and the one that really brought him out of his shell and really helped him like start catching on to how to learn. It was the little inchworm story. And he had this toy, he had this toy. And so I'm like tearing up because Whenever I think about how hard my mom worked before she got super sick trying to like bring both my brothers up to like their learning abilities, I remember he used to have this inchworm. He had he loved these inchworms. He loved them. He had a big giant pillow, like body pillow size inchworm uh, that was just kind of like this guy. And he had all these inchworms, all these tiny inchworms, like when they would do the beanie baby things at McDonald's and have like the small guys, he would get all the small inchworms. And so this was like a blast from the past. And it was just like sitting there when I was like 10 or eight, nine, 10, watching my mom practice therapy with my brothers and help them learn and speak. And I remember the day she had a breakthrough with my middle brother, like the middle child, uh, who's the younger brother. I'm the eldest, so I'm not, it's kind of hard to explain. But he was like five and he hadn't started learning his alphabet yet and he nobody could figure out what to do. And my mom, knew that he loved art and he loved 3D stuff and so she sat down and she made the alphabet out of Play-Doh with him and he learned his entire alphabet that afternoon. Within like two hours he figured it out. He just needed to be shown the key in a different way, three-dimensionally instead of on paper and he started spelling within the week. Like he just needed that key and so seeing this inchworm reminds me of my younger brothers and like not so much their struggles, but just my mom's dedication to taking care of them. So I know it seems really like random, but my family and the way my family has always worked so hard for each other and all the struggles that they've overcome just mean the world to me. And so seeing this guy and having that memory that's been buried for who knows how long now just come back to me is a really great feeling on my birthday because it makes me just want to go forward and do what I can to contribute to my family and make a beautiful future with them. Oh my gosh, thank you, Audrey. I know it's kind of random, but wow, what a powerful, intense memory to have all of a sudden. All right, so I'm going to put you down here. And there's somebody else who was hiding with the inchworm. And this is our last little present from Audrey. And it is amazing because it's an otter. <laughs> I love otters. You know, now that I think about it, I think otters are another one of my favorite animals. But I could probably say that about almost every creature on this planet. And it is an otter. And he has a little fish. And this is... Fantastic. I have to say my heart's still pounding from the inchworm. So Audrey, thank you so much. As usual, your beautiful art, your excitement, the things that you send in to share that your authentic, deep joy of the natural world and learning about it with me. It's just all fantastic. And it just, thank you. Thank you so much. You don't have to do this and you do it. And I promise you, it brings me a lot of joy. Whenever things get kind of hard, I'll look around either through my, my scrapbook, uh, you know, whenever like there'll be lots of hate comments for the day or just I'm exhausted or just my health isn't very good. So when I get sick, I'll look around at all this stuff and you guys, you just bring me so much joy so thank you so much audrey oh my goodness okay i'm gonna put him over here we have to leave for dinner in like 10 minutes so i need to hurry and let's go ahead there is one other thing i just wanted to mention i got an email today from abby so i wanted to say thank you to abby l because she sent me a really cool gift card for sims 4 dlc so yay abby i'm really excited i'm gonna see like if there's an expansion pack or like one of the stuff pack things that i don't have yet and then we can get it and see sims 4 is really like taking off because your guys support lately this is so cool all right and our last package of the day so thank you abby <laughs> i just wanted to say thank you and thank you so much to everybody who sent me happy birthday comments messages tweets it's been one of the most exciting birthdays i have ever had in fact i'm honestly it's the most exciting birthday i've had <laughs> to share it with you guys and to see all of your amazing comments it's just fantastic and we have one last package right here and this was sent in from canada so this is from canada and it is a present somebody has sent my way and like i said there's two packages 
I mentioned it in the last snail mail, but if you didn't see your package, I have two packages I think I need to pick up from behind the counter and they closed right in front of me today. So yeah, I'll have to look into that. I might need, where'd my little scissors go? I might need my little pair of scissors. No, my scissors are denied to me because they disappeared. All right, pardon me, where's Siri like wrestles with us for just a second, there we go. Rawr. I used to lift like three pounds of like 60 dog food pound bags, three bags of 60 pound dog food bags over my shoulder all the time at work. Oh my goodness. Oh boy, this looks cool. All right, let it, let's see what we have here. This is, this is really cool. Okay, read this first. And you can read this on snail mail, but not after the PS. Thank you for letting me know. All right. And then we have this. So, hey Siri, I hope you enjoy the gift and find a good use for it, whether for personal use or for your channel. It's handmade and I thought you would enjoy it. I love listening to your update videos, other vlogs, and snail mail. The series I watch most of the time are Zoo Crafting, Slime Rancher, Stardew Valley, and The Warrior Cats. I always enjoy watching your videos after a long work day. I thank you for all the work you have put into your channel. Watching your videos helps me, whether I can learn something new or just hearing about another adventure. I love animals and learning about them. My favorite animals are the com are common as pets, uh, are cats and snakes, oh, and hamsters. If I listed favorite animals in general, they would probably take up another whole page. From Kea, or Ka. So let's see, and then I'll read the rest privately. So thank you so much. Oh my gosh. So I Ka, I think K-A-A, so I hope it's okay just to say Ka. I'm really excited to actually read your letter. So this, I think, is from a viewer who's closer in my age. So it's always... It's like a different kind of really fun connection to read letters from you guys. So then we've also got these. So what do we have here? Oh, I think it's a package of envelopes. All right. Now I'm curious. All right. So there's a bunch of envelopes. And I'm really curious about, is there anything in them? Okay, no. All right. The mystery deepens. And let's see what we have right here. So this is really cool. This is another thing to open. And it's beautifully wrapped in tissue paper. And what do we have? What is, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> is this what I think it is? Okay. All right. Here's another letter. Okay. All right. I'm going to gently. Oh my goodness. Okay. Hang on here. All right. You can read this on snail mail. Hey Siri, this book is 104 pages made from 8.5 by 11 Earth Choice office paper, sewed together with hand waxed thread. The cover is made from a combo of foam sheets and clipboard, then wrapped in cotton. The detailing on the front and spine are also from foam sheets. As I mentioned before, I hope you can find a good use for this book. Also, sorry there are no lines. I didn't have a printer I could print lines with. From KAA. So, thank you so much. This is actually like, I'm almost shaking because of how surreal it is. I gather journals. I gather them because one of the most powerful things I've ever learned in my life is to celebrate joy. And I used to be really depressed and, I mean, really bad depressed. And I used to be in a really dark place in a bad relationship. And it just seemed like there was no happiness or future for me. And then my mom mentioned offhand something she heard in her happiness psych psychology of happiness class that she was taking in college at the time. She went back to school uh, when I was in my 20s, like early 20s, and she mentioned how her teacher said if people would just take the time to write three things in a journal that were good for the day, even if it was just like I didn't starve or I wasn't in a car accident, it could be anything. It could be like my clothes, my socks were clean for the day. If people would just take some time to write three things that were good from their day and have a gratitude journal, then it would change their lives. And I took her up on it. And I started a joy journal way back when, and it changed my life. And ever since then, in fact, my joy journal, I think, here it is. So my current joy journal is actually right here. And this is a really cool one, see beauty in nature. And I write in it all day, every day. I write in it and I write in it, write in it. And no matter how exhausted I am, at the end of the day, I will sit down and I will write three good things. And it could have been the worst day, even the day when my grandfather died, um, the day when like my mom was really sick and we thought she was gonna die recently. Um, and she was like in the hospital and things were looking bad. Even those days, like 
I'll sit down and write something that I'm grateful for. And it changed my life. And it's really hard to explain because it doesn't do it overnight. But I have kept a joy journal. I call them, instead of gratitude journal, I call them joy journal. And I call them joy moments. And I write down at least three joy moments every day for the last, gosh, and I've missed some months and you feel really like I can tell there's a difference in the quality of my life when I miss those months. But I have kept these journals for years and years and years and they have changed my life. And there's a whole lineup back there on the bottom. You can actually kind of see them in the picture on the bottom shelf of that bookshelf. That's almost entirely journals next to the James Harriet books, which are one of my favorites. And they're full of joy moments. And it really has changed my life to keep track of those joy moments. And so to have this journal and to hold it, I can promise you it will be filled with some of my most precious memories in the future. It will become one of my future joy journals. And it will be a listing of the beautiful, wonderful adventures I go on and the happy things that happen in my life. And it will continue to help to create an environment of joy in my personality, in my life, in my heart. And thank you. Thank you. This is, to me, getting a joy journal from people is one of the best gifts I can possibly get. It's the thing I ask for. I fill them up really quick now because there's so much wonderful joy in my life. And it's one of the first things I ask for whenever Christmas or my birthday rolls around. And yes, Chips did get me a new one. He got me one that I used up at Christmas. Between just Christmas and February, I filled a whole joy journal because of the trip to see my family and the wonderful time I had going on adventures with him. And I am really deeply grateful and touched to have this. And you know that it's handmade by somebody who like enjoys our adventures. Wow. <laughs> so thank you so much. I hope you are having an absolutely wonderful day, Kay. And I promise you, I will, I will truly savor this gift. So thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Wow. Well, I, <laughs> I feel like I should go on forever and ever and ever, but ironically we have to leave for a birthday dinner soon and it's going to be really fun. And there's just so much joy in my life and I am surrounded, absolutely, I'm hemmed in right now by all of the letters and the art and the gifts and the beauty and thank you guys so much, you've changed my life and it is one of the deepest, most transformational honors that I know that our adventures have helped to change your lives too. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day and I cannot wait to share more adventures with all of you and I'll see you next time guys. <laughs> and thank you so much for sharing my birthday with me. <laughs> Bye guys. <laughs>